Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to resolve if your Steam API.dll file is missing on your Windows 11 computer. So I imagine this can definitely be a frustrating issue. And in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve it without too much of a hassle. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So all you have to do is open up a web browser of your choice. doesn't matter to me. But I'm going to open up Google Chrome for today's tutorial. And you want to search for Steam API.dll file. Just go ahead and search for that. One of the best results should be from a site that says dll slash files.com. Go ahead and open that up. And go down a little bit on this page here. So you're going to select the most up-to-date version on this page here. And you're going to select the download button. And it shouldn't take too long to download. I'm going to go ahead and click the little up arrow next to it and select Show in Folder. Minimize or close out your web browser. I'm going to go ahead and double click on the Steam API folder. And then I'm just going to drag the DLL file over to our desktop. You can close out of everything at this point just to make it easier to follow along. And we're going to now open up File Explorer again. So just open up File Explorer in your taskbar or you can search for it. And you want to select this PC on the left side. Double click on your local disk where Windows is installed on. Do the same thing now for the Windows folder. So double click on that. And then finally locate System32 right here. If you do not see System32, you may have to enable that hidden view. So select View up at the top and then select Show. And make sure where it says Hidden Items is selected here. So if for some reason you don't see System32, you should see it now. And we're going to take our Steam file on our desktop and just drop it into the System32 folder where it says Move to System32. So just drop it in. It's going to say you will need to provide administrative permission to move to this folder. Select Continue. And that's all you have to do. So pretty straightforward process, guys. I do I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.